Welcome to the show as my special guest, Mr. Frank Furman. Frank, welcome to the show. Jake, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Glad to have you. So, Frank, now I know my audience still doesn't know what pad split is. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, it's all good. so pull, pull the curtain back and in very, very simple terms, for my sake at least, Tell us what Pad Split is and what it's all about and what's its its purpose and its mission and all that. Got it. So we what well, we are at Pad Split, we're a marketplace platform. So think like Airbnb, but instead of being fractional in terms of time, so one occupancy, another occupancy, another, we're fractional in terms of space, right? So it's room rentals. And so, you know, a lot of times people look at it and say, oh, you know, I I, I kind of get it. Maybe I should, uh, I'll ask my kids, you know, young people to understand. I say, no, no, ask your grandmother, because this is how working singles used to live in the United States and to a large extent still do today. The, the concept of, you know, uh, someone getting their start or, uh, you know, someone who's working in kind of manufacturing or security guard or in fast food or, or what have you, um, having their own apartment with all the kind of lease obligations and expenses that entails is kind of a new new construct. So uh, so really it's 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 about bringing a, a thing that already exists, you know, around in every metro area and and democratizing and making more accountable and, and making more widespread. Uh, so what it looks like is, I mean, it's a workforce housing company. And so on the one end is on the one side of the market is landlords, property owners uh, who want to increase their yield. They want to do well by doing good. And on the other side are the residents who are, you know, again, the people who work in our communities and are looking for a, you know, a good value on an inexpensive place to live. But it's a it's a shared housing company in that regard. So, for example, let, let's say that I am someone that is needing affordable housing and like, you know, I can't afford the mortgage payment or whatever to, you know, buy a house or I can't afford the rent on, you know, say a single family house or whatever. So, so how do I, as a rent, as a, as a user, as a renter, if you will, how do I share the space logistically with other people? Yeah. So similarly to um, if, if you've ever been in a student housing arrangement or, you know, if, if you think golden girls a little bit, I mean, so the, the bedrooms are private, so it's singles, one bedroom and what's shared are the rest of the parts of the house or apartment. So kitchen, oftentimes the bathroom, um, now, a big part of what we do on the technology side and certainly on the customer support side is making that side of it work, right? The payment processing and all that, you know, is maintenance tickets, all that's relatively straightforward, but um, we have a whole kind of investment on the side of, okay, how do you worry about the cleanliness of the house? You know, kind of who does what, you know, chore wheel, that sort of thing. But but yeah, it's a, think of it as, as renting a bedroom and sharing, sharing common areas. Okay. Well, actually the example you just gave made it really, really easy to understand. So you said it's like compared to student housing. So like with student housing, um, well, tell everybody how student housing works in case, you know, yeah. somebody needs some clarification. So, uh, the way that a lot of student housing works is now legally, it may be a little bit different. Oftentimes there's a co-signer or you have a bunch of students who are coming together, signing on the same lease. For us, they're individual people, individual con contracts, but it's about moving strangers in together, right? They're not all students in our case. They may be someone who works at this Starbucks and maybe someone who works, uh, you know, at this manufacturing center, distribution center, but it's strangers are moving in together with individual contracts. But oftentimes student housing, which is oftentimes custom built, um, will have individual bedrooms surrounding you know, called a suite typically, surrounding a common area where we might have the couch and the TV and I don't know where, you know, kids play beer pong again. I went to the Naval Academy, so we didn't have any of this nonsense. You know, we were in the barracks, but uh, I, I I hear about it. But uh, but yeah, that's the idea. Is you have you know maybe four or six bedrooms in student housing, and and you share the common area in the middle. Gotcha.